Life may seem unfair for some of you, and it was for me in my early days as well. And that is because you do not understand what truly life is. What is life? As I mentioned in the last video, this was one of the questions I had to solve for years. To understand the true meaning of life, you have to understand what has gone before and will come after. Because when you don't understand this, you only see a short fragment of your life. It's like you've only watched the cliff of the film. Everyone was born in different backgrounds, different countries, towns, different looks, ethnicities, genders, and cultures. Some are born wealthy, some are born poor. We all have different starts in this life, possibly making life seem unfair. Those different starting points lead us to all different directions during living this life. But why is that? Why do we all have different starts? Wouldn't it be fair if we all started from the same beginning? No, because the truth is, birth in this life is not the beginning of your life. You're already in the middle of your life when you're born into this life. You've reincarnated. There are countless lives you have been through before this one. Most of you just don't remember them now. The consequences of your choices through all those lives led you to this life. And this is why we all have different starting points in this life. Schools don't teach you what life is. Religions are corrupted. The media distract you from the truth. You have to find the truth yourself. And this is absolutely possible. You just get distracted from less essential events in your life not thinking these are even important or possible. There is nothing more important than finding truth and enlightening your spirit in your life. This always has to be our priority in life. Life is fair. We are all living the same law of the universe. The law of causation. Karma that lead to Yunhe, in other words, Samsara. Which is the concept of reincarnation. A cycle where our spirit is trapped in the wheel of life. Oppo, known as karma is a principle of cause and effect, where one's intentions and actions have an impact on one's future, both good and evil. No one is free from this law of causation. All the living things are living in this law. Not only from this earth, but beings from outer earth and other dimensions, heaven and hell, except for the high-level gods, from tiny insects to animals, humans, extraterrestrials, invisible spirits, and even the gods, they realize it or not. But the wise spirits already know this very well. They worked on building good karma and wisdom to enlighten their spirits. That's why they are placed in higher dimensions, and the highest gods are now clinging to this will of life. They are beyond. The world of gods are much more complex than the world of human. Many religions are lost about the truth because many of them are manipulated. Every outcome of different lives you see is the consequence of their journey, including lives before this one. Since you are the one who placed you in this very place you are in, there is no one to blame and nothing to be unfair about. Your parents, siblings, the country and the towns you are born, your appearance, people you meet through this life, your interest, your talent, your goal, all of them have some kind of connection that led you to happen in this life. You might have compared yourself with others and think someone is more fortunate than you because they have more. It could be about their talent, wealth, looks, etc. And you might also look at someone and think you're more lucky than the person because you have more. Which could be partially true, but comparing those values is a meaningless perspective. These are shallow values that trap your spirit at a low level. Because these values don't last long. Perhaps they can also maintain those values in the next life, depending on how they build their karma in this life. But they will be stuck in the low dimension without elevating their spirits to a higher place. Yongnyeok means spiritual power, and this varies among spirits. Even from humans, we all have different levels of spiritual strength. It can be described as luminous intensity. Someone with low spiritual power has a luminous intensity of a candlelight, and someone with high spiritual power has a luminous intensity of a starlight. Someone like Bokishi, known as Fusi, Lao Tzu, and Buddha, can be a few examples of highest spirit a human could reach and they became gods after their lives. Ones with low spiritual power tend to more focus on shallow values, 
and easy to be manipulated by spirits with evil and malevolent intentions because they don't understand what truly life is and they don't understand about death. They chase their desires and temptations. There are many examples of powerful kings obsessed with immortality and they tried many silly ways to achieve it, but all of them failed. They had all the glory, wealth, and power in their life, so they wanted to bring those after death, because they didn't understand what death is, that was their biggest fear. Even now, many people who have reached power are making same mistakes. This is a pattern of chasing shallow values and becoming a lost spirit. And there are cases of people chasing these shallow values but can't reach them. In these cases, most of the time, their mind strongly resents what they couldn't achieve, and this makes them chase those values in their next life, because a strong emotion is one of the strong karma that affects your destiny. Ones with high spiritual power have a strong will that penetrates the darkness and pursues wisdom and truth. They understand and seek permanent values. They know those shallow values are only temporary, and sometimes they know this unconsciously. They know they have to be good spirits because they understand the law of causation and they are guided by the right gods. It's not physically visible, but their spirit emits light, the force of good, and they are the potential gods in following lives. It's your choice to decide what to become in your next life, after death. Your will is going to be an indicator of your future. The journey won't be easy, but you will get to where you aim for if you do not give up. From those birds in the sky to animals in the zoo, to fishes in the sea to a kid from the street, to someone singing on the screens to you who is watching this, life is fair. You are just the character your true self is playing once in this life. We all have been given the same chance and it's never too late. Life is a lesson, a quest. The primary purpose of life is to upgrade your spirit, but it also has risk of downgrading your spirit. Life is a fair game. <laughs>